Hello ladies and gents and welcome back once again to Shadow Gaming and today we've got a bit of exciting news. Um, I've installed another mod. What I have installed is... If it'll load. Come on. I have installed Mechanism. Now this does pose a bit of an issue. Now obviously because... <clears throat> Because we've got most of our chunks already loaded, an ore that is in mechanism, which we don't have, is osmium. Now, I've got a way of getting it, so that's what we're going to be doing this episode, is setting up a little way to get osmium. But it does mean we can use things like the digital miner, which is an absolutely awesome piece of mining equipment. Absolutely brilliant. And we can get the mechanism jetpack which is also an awesome jetpack and not really that expensive either just got to get some osmium and that's it really so the way we're going to get osmium oh yeah and i've also changed the base a bit as you can see if we go up top quickly head outside you've seen the sheep i believe uh, i've also done a bit of major deforesting sort of round here which has given us enough wood and stuff to do what I plan to do for the next two episodes. Right, so. Uh, what we need is a couple of pulverizers. Just make a load of them. Two of them. Boom, boom, boom. One of those. It's the trouble with having so many different types of wood. The NEI just doesn't really know which one it's meant to be using. There is another little surprise for you guys, which you will see in a moment. Uh, so we can make our piston. Come on, get the proper... Not the forestry one. The other one. Thermal foundation, that one. Again, let's make a load of these, because we'll use them. Boom. Oh yeah, of course I only made one of each of those. Oops. Let's make a stack of pistons. Screw it, let's make a stack of perception cores as well. It'll all get used eventually. Alright, so that gives us two basic pulverizers. Oh yeah, and we now have another floor. Same size, same layout of lights and all sorts. So, what we want is does pulverizing cobblestone give off a byproduct? I don't think it does, or I hope it doesn't. Sorry, guys, got quite a bit of clicking to do here until we find cobblestone. Is that sand? No. Pulverizing stone gives you a chance of getting sand, but it definitely gives you gravel. Right, okay, so we got a byproduct of sand. Okay, so in theory we only actually need one of these. Yeah, we only need one of these then. Because we can actually use the sand for our glass. Uh, let's use our crescent hammer. Yes, we actually only need one. So we'll have the yellow output on top. Have the red output on the side. Have our blue on the left hand side. Uh, we want some chests. Uh, 
Uh, let's make them into iron chests. Boom. What we're also going to need is an autonomous activator. That there. These are quite useful machines. Oh, would you look at that? We got most of the stuff in there. <laughs> We're going to need a servo, possibly, item duct. Uh, we're going to need, now this is probably the most expensive thing, is a vacuum hopper. I managed to find some blaze rods in the never, so we can quite easily make those. Ooh, we're out of ender pearls. Right, so that should be enough to actually start up our Okay. I don't know what that was. That should be enough stuff to start up our little production line here. So if we put that there, chuck that in there, that should suck it in. Maybe not. Maybe I do have to input it in there. Okay. That's easy enough though. Servo. Cobblestone. Uh, nope. Not like that. You facing like that. Input is on the back. Output is nowhere. Output is on the front. So I want you to right click. Oh, that actually needs power. I didn't know that. We. Thank God we have a jetpack because I did make that mistake earlier. Uh, this jetpack is awful. Boom. Right, so that's now got power. Aim level, aim high, aim level. Don't need to sneak. Yep, yep, yep. So. Then what we want is that chest there, with that there. The output towards that chest. Don't need an XP output. Now I have no idea if this is going to work. I've done this on Sky Factory before, and it did work. Um, I want to sieve. We have no string. Oh well, we've got lots of wool that we can uh, macerate down. Yeah. I'll do. So we do that and that. Make two of them. Should be able to make one of those, which we can. And we should be able to start this up. So if I say to this to output, I should start putting stuff in there. it has. should then put the gravel in the autonomous activator, which should keep right clicking.
Mm. Or is it not going to? Or do I need a second one to just press it? Let's make a second autonomous activator and see if we can just get it to click. Uh, autonomous activator. Cool. Augmentation framework. Bridgestone control. Reconfigurable. Automated input. Transfer throttling. Gearbox. Blah blah blah. Rogue oil. Hmm. I have a horrible feeling that this isn't actually going to work. But where's the harm in trying, eh? Come on, I just need something that's going to right-click. Hmm. Automated input allows for automatic transfer into device. Allows the side to be... No. Redstone control setting to be utilised on a device. Allows the intersectional and interaction through the coil. So it's got a redstone control on it. What if I put a timer next to it and got it to rapidly click? Yeah, what if I got a That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's go make a redstone timer and see if we can get it to click. Redstone timer. Ah, oh, is there not timers in this? Ah, there it is. Ugh, I forgot how complicated these things are. Give me some stone. Have I got any stone? Yes, I do. Furnish me up six stone, please. Uh, timer. Boom. One of them. One of them. One of them. Three of them. Should be able to make one of them. There we are. Lovely. So we've got ourselves a timer. Let's go put this timer onto this.
Maybe I need some actual redstone. This is how I did it before. All this to get a bit of osmium. I don't even need much. There must be a clicker or something. Clicker. Oh, phone's ringing. It slices, it dices, it pours things, it throws things, maybe it's random, maybe it's maybe it's sneaky, maybe it's not. Oh shit. Maybe we can't. It will be a shame if we can't, because I'm sure you can. I've done it before. Guys, I'm having a little Google. I'm sure there used to be a there used to be an auto sieve, but but um can't seem to find it. That is very loud. Ah, hang on. Going by this, it may actually be disabled. Give me a minute, guys. I'm just going to go through some settings and see if I can get it to work. Be back in a minute. So, guys, and I'm back. So, it turns out it was just an option within the config of X and Halo at the moment as when you install X in Halo for some reason, automated comes default as disabled for some reason. But we've now got it working. It's not very quick because we've got very few ones on there, but we're looking for osmium. There. So we're actually getting osmium. So that's good. So what we want to do now is we want to take an item duct out the back of here and take it up to there. Item duct. So 
So doing that should now make it so that all of what comes out of the little system here goes straight up into our computer. Right, and it's quick enough. So, obviously, we'll need to get some more cobblestone because we are quite low on cobblestone at the minute. But that shouldn't be too bad. Sorry. Uh, we got a load of rubber, which is something else that I've been collecting over the space between this episode and last. So, I think we're going to need to start on some more power generation, guys, because the nuclear reactor is having to be ran to keep up, because I thought those solar panels were doing well, but they're not, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have resorted to every now and then turning this on, charging it up and using the buffer off of that, but don't really want to do that. So the plan for next episode is to make some more solar panels but from Billcraft and use electrical engines to utilize the power and turn it into RF because EU to RF it's very janky and it's very slow rate of converting unless you do what I show you in the next episode. But I'm pretty pleased with this. Just a little setup, and it just gets us the osmium that we need, because obviously we didn't have any osmium to start with. And um, yeah, we'll do the solar panels in the next episode, and we may also set up a little cobblestone generator just to fuel this. That way, we've got basically unlimited ores from this. But then we need a way of auto crafting it. Are they auto crafters? Auto crafting bench. Let's just quickly make one of them if we can. I just want to see how they work. Oh, electrolyte. Um, do we have any electrolyte? Boom, we do. Let's quickly make one of these auto crafting tables. Damn, I didn't catch it. Oh well, it's in the computer now anyway. Uh, so we need a chest. Uh, crafting bench, or crafting table, sorry. Uh, there we are, auto crafting table. An auto crafting bench. Ah, okay, so it's from Project Red. So I'm assuming you just put the recipe in however you want it. So if I wanted, uh, what have I got on me that I can make into something? So if I wanted to turn, I'm assuming it needs power. Um, so Project Red could be a way to go to changing all of that into actual ores, but that's quite a big project that that will probably require its own floor. Have we got enough osmium to make one yet? Osmium. Not quite. We're one off. I want to make one osmium before this episode finishes. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly pop down here and help it along. <laughs> Let's head back up. Hopefully one of those had some osmium in. Osmium, come on, please. Pretty please. 
Maybe not. So yeah, osmium is still going to be quite difficult to come by as this is very slow. This, but it's it's a start. It's something at the end of the day. I mean, I could cheat and go into the options and change the um, rate at which this gives off osmium, so it gives it off pretty much every time. But to me, that's too cheaty, and I'd rather just wait a bit longer. Oh, come on. We've got to get some osmium from this. I mean, look, we've even got broken steel. We've got broken cobalt, and cobalt's quite rare. So I'm assuming you can just smelt the gravel, and that smelts into bars, I think. Yeah, cobalt. Nice. So, yeah, that's going to be quite an easy way of getting ores. It is a little bit cheaty, because obviously X and Halo wasn't in this before, so it is just getting ores from cobblestone, which we can make infinite of. But, I mean, it's part of the game, I guess. There we are, osmium. Let's chuck that in there and get ourselves a bit of osmium. Right, there we are guys, we got our piece of osmium, so thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed, dislike it if you dislike. do whatever else you wish, uh, don't forget there's a link to a donations page in the description, don't feel like you have to donate, but if you do wish to it really helps me out, and uh, also if you do decide to donate, don't forget to put in the uh, comments section of the donations what the donation was for, and I will make sure it goes on to that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.